WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.offtiltpokertables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why Off Tilt is the only way to play. Win your share of $50,000 in cash and prizes and get into the game for free with the Nevada Poker League. NPL has 17 locations in the Las Vegas area for you to play poker with your friends and neighbors. New season starts early October. Find a location near you at NevadaPokerLeague.com and get in the action tonight. Want to be a millionaire? Then see if you can become fantasy sports royalty in the 2013 Fantasy Football Millionaire Grand Final at DraftKings.com. Play for free or in paid contests for real money, plus games last one day, so there's no long-term commitment. Thousands of winners have won over 10 million prizes on DraftKings.com, and now it's your turn to cash in. Go to DraftKings.com right now, enter the promo code HOKE, and get a 100% deposit bonus and a free entry into the Millionaire Grand Final Qualifier. So don't wait. Crown yourself the king of fantasy sports at DraftKings.com. Turn up the electricity on your computer by going to RogueWire.com. News, sports, current events, and the internet home of the Mark Hoke Show, plus much more. Like us on Facebook and follow RogueWire on Twitter to stay up to date and let the sparks fly off your screen. Check it out, RogueWire.com. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to Final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch on October 21st, 2013. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at ArcticBLU.com and pick yours up today. 
Plus, enter the discount code Mark Hoke Show when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Hey, everybody. Wow, I'm glad I didn't say anything bad while I haven't left my mic on that whole break. <laughs> hey! Oh, see, now I'm getting spoiled. I'm getting spoiled doing that show on KLAV. I don't have to do anything in there. Just show up. Tell my producer, say, this is what I'd like for you to do for me today, if you don't mind. He said, sure, and off I go. It's kind of fun. All right. But thanks for being with us tonight. Hey, we have our little horse tournament going on here. Very happy to have you playing along. Should be a good time. And I am in there as well. And I almost forgot to put my little blotch up there as well. Shame on me. I don't know what I was thinking. But thanks for joining us tonight. And, of course, don't forget Wednesday on KLAV here in Las Vegas. And, of course, you can also listen to the show on the Internet at uh, – www.klav1230am.com. I know we just interviewed him, but you know it's it, the audience is kind of split a little bit sometimes. Some listen to both shows, some listen to the internet so show, some listen to the uh, the KLAV show. Tom McAvoy, now Hall of Famer, is going to be on the show, and I'm trying to get a hold of Scotty. I really am. I will get him at some point. I promise. Scotty's been on the show before. He always. Has a good time with us, so looking forward to having Scotty Wynn on here at some point. But uh, Tom McAvoy is going to be joining us there, and I apologize, this one's going to pop up on your screens real quick. Uh, Joe Vigors is going to be on the show. Uh, Joe is also uh, from the Win. He's the poker room manager over there. They asked me if uh, they could sneak somebody on because they have the Win Classic going on right now here in Las Vegas. And they would like to promote it, so we're going to have Joe on the show. And uh, I'm sure we'll have one or two other in the old cast of crazies joining us there as well. So uh, Tom McAvoy, Hall of Famer, it, it, I'm sure it's going to be a pretty emotional interview for him. I believe it's going to be his first one since he was elected, so should be a very exciting afternoon on KLAV. Some great stuff happening here with the Internet Show, too. You're probably wondering why we've only been doing one show, and that's part of because I've been working out a few things to put some shows on in other places and uh, they are coming through at this point so we should have a pretty cool announcement coming up for you here uh very shortly so keep your eye on things follow us on twitter uh at mark hoke show also on uh follow rogue wire and uh, like us on facebook and you know, of course we're having a great time up here at quant international i know christina just got here from <laughs> she was working with an indy car team or something down in california and just she and Vinny just got here a little while ago, so I'm sure I'm sure we'll speak to Christina in a little bit. But project all in coming up here on Saturday. Open house guys, come on up. Just uh, join us here at Quan International. Let's come up to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're in the Commercial Center. If you have any questions, you can email me at mark, uh, yeah, Mark Oak at BlueRail.net, and I will be more than happy to get you the information. If you're here in Las Vegas, we'd love to have you join us. Oh my goodness. So we got a little horse tournament going on, and I'm just checking in here what's going on. But, hey, for those of you out there, make sure, don't forget our rules are you got to sign into the chat box. So make sure you join us in that chat box because I do have a prize for you. Yeah, just so you, okay, I'm going to say this one time, and that's it. Okay, just because that's the account, but I will just say it's really great to watch you stream shows on Firefox, and there's a there's a little there's a blocker if you choose to use it. I know that uh, on some of my other programs, I use an edit blocker just to kind of clean things up. Like when I watch stuff on First Row Sports. Dot EU. The ad blocker from you know the, the in my browser is pretty good about uh, keeping things clean. So just so you know that, but certainly would not advocate that here on UStream at all. Never do something like that. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see who's playing ball right now on our featured table. Of course, I'm in the ball game here. We got Idle G. I haven't seen Idle G for a while. Good to see him. Uh, Quattro also in there as well. Uh, we got Azrael, Mama John, and uh, JB Wisconsin coming up here. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I'm I'm sorry, Casino. But you know, and I got to take I have to take exception with something Casino Examiner said. Normally, you know, I'm kind of on board with Casino Examiner a lot of times, but I would certainly not advocate winning the main event as an automatic qualification to the Hall of Fame. You won one poker tournament. I love Jerry Yang to death as a Hall of Fame poker player. Eh. He has some merits. I mean, certainly a lot of these done things he's done off the off the poker table would get him in there. Would you say that Peter Eastgate is deserving of being in the Poker Hall of Fame? Eh. Eh, I don't. I don't know. No, it's it's not a matter of winning one poker tournament. It's a matter of having an outstanding career. And you know, I know Kevin doesn't feel that Tom McAvoy deserved to be in, but I. But in all candor, I I believe Tom was. You know, probably the most deserving candidate in terms of everything he's done. I didn't know this, and and you know this came to me in the uh, press release that I got from WSOP, and you know I want to I want to read this because this statistic absolutely blew me away. Of course, I'm in a hand right now, so bear with me. But this information came came to me just a little while ago that. Tom McAvoy has rem has cashed every year since he first won a poker tournament in 1982. That is 32 consecutive years of cashing in a major poker tournament. I mean, that is something else. I mean, you just you just don't do that. Now, so I I don't really think that you can dismiss Tom's accomplishments on the table as well. And, you know, he has done a lot for this game. I mean, there's there's no doubt. Oh, this is so horrible. You know, I'm going to call this just because I like Quattro. Did I get this? Did I actually take this one down? I did. Wow. And scooped it. Not flush. With two pairs on the board. Thank you very much, kids. Don't try that at home. Yeah, P.S. Hines. P.S. Hines would be another one. You know, I, and, and I, I don't ever like picking on Bernard Lee, but I remember I had Bernard on the show and we were talking about, about Hines, who, you know, he said, oh, he's going to be a great ambassador of the game. He ran to Europe so fast it wasn't funny. I mean, that, that was a sprint. Yeah, I mean, you know, we... I, I, I think that we tend to think about those, a lot of those main event champions in the past as... You know, a lot of them were legends of the game, but, you know, recently it, that just hasn't happened. You know, I, th I saw a great example from NEPT Poker in there who said, uh, made a comment, what if Darwin Moon would have won the main event, would Darwin Moon be a Hall of Famer? And I was like, yeah. I like Darwin. I've interviewed Darwin. He's a really nice guy. But, uh, you know, Poker Hall of Famer? I don't know. So sorry, so sorry, casino examiner. I got, I got to throw that one out. Oh, that East guy, and we'll chop that one up. Uh, JB's going to take the high, and uh, low hand going to Quattro on this Omaha high low. But thanks for joining us here, guys. We're here on the Mark Hoke show, and uh, once again, don't forget Wednesday's show on KLAV. Please join us. We'll be very happy to have you listening in there and make sure you go to roguewire.com because all of the past videos we have them posted right on the on the live stream page and i promise you the podcasts are coming soon we'll get those squared up in probably a couple of weeks and and of course we'll also be uh, barring any unforeseen issues uh, we should be live at the uh, at the november 9 and I got to figure out how we're going to work Hall of Fame too. I, I really got to talk to those guys and see what I can do to to go down there because honestly, I really just want to watch the ceremony. And maybe you know do something afterward or, or beginning or something. We'll get it figured out, but uh, should be a lot of fun. I, that is going to be a great ceremony. That's it. Actually, I think it's 5 p.m. I want to say 5 p.m. Pacific. Let me double check that that ceremony uh, down at the Rio. Uh, yep, 
uh, 5 p.m. at the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino a day before the main event kicks off. Um, you know, and just some words from those guys. Actually, I, I kept the voicemail from Tom. I, I found out uh, when Tom's wife posted that on Facebook, I got to see, you know, I saw that. And, you know, of course, uh, you know, I know Tom, great guy. And uh, I have a voicemail on there on my <laughs> on my phone that I'm not deleting from Tom. I mean, just because obviously it was like, you know, I call him almost right away and, uh, you know, call me back a couple hours later and, you know, gave me uh, some interesting stuff that I'm I think I'm going to hang on to that for a long time. But it, it, it's going to be something else. I mean, Scotty Wynn getting inducted in the Hall of Fame and Tom McAvoy, two very popular players, I think is going to be a, a special night at the Rio. And of course, November 9 is coming up and. You know, we're look, we're going to really start getting into that over the next couple of weeks. We're looking to try and get some of the great WSOP and ESPN personalities to stop up here on the show and you know, join us for some great excitement there, too. It's going to be something else, and uh, we'll be crowning a new world champion here in just a couple of weeks. So make sure you keep joining us here on the Mark Oak Show. We'd certainly appreciate it. All right, and uh, this tournament rolls on. Let's take a look at the dreaded leaderboard. And I don't think I turboed this one up. I, I was uh, I must have been sleeping at the switch here. So this one uh, may take a while. I'm not sure if we're going to be on here till the end. But uh, let's see. Uh, bear with me for one moment. We'll get that posted here. Uh, and, oh, and Katie Stone is in the ballgame. So Katie Stone uh, looks like she is on the other table right now. Uh, leading the way, 3145. Quattro 1946 is in there as well in second place, followed by Idle G, me, Curt and C. Also playing no one out of there quite yet. But Katie Stone on the other table at Grindettes. Make sure you follow them at Grindettes on Twitter. Go to the, of course, the Grindettes on Facebook as well. And, you know, we get to talk to them every week on KLAV. And uh, looking forward to bringing their feature back. I think, I think it's a Grindettes week next week here on the show, so we'll, we'll get them in here, I promise. Wow, what a board here on a, even though the well, three trip queens out there right now, plus a straight flush draw. Yikes. That's about as nasty as an Omaha board you're going to see. And Idle G's put out a bet of 60. Let's take it over to Mama John, who's going to raise it up. We raise from Idle G and back over to Mama John with the call. And there is Full House, Queens and Aces. Ah, sneak that one in. Nice hand there by Idle G. And in case uh, some of you maybe new to the show, you're wondering why that splotch is on the screen. That is to cover my cards up. And of course, can't have everybody looking at my cards. That would be bad. All right, East three Jack on the board set. I'll keep that low hand in play, plus a nice little flush draw for somebody. Of course, on, for those of you new to Omaha High Low, you're drawing to get a high hand and a low hand. Low hand uh, must be eight or lower. Wheel is the nut for the low, and of course, you know, playing for a high hand as well, so you can chop the pot or scoop it, which is a lot more fun. And of course, that gets the scoop yell. And trip aces for Idle G, who's lucky I was not in the hand. <laughs> All right, so now we go to Raz, and of course playing for the low hand here. Two cards dealt face down to each player, plus one up. And JB Wisconsin, despite showing a king, is going to raise this up. So he's going to bet out, and we'll get one caller. 10 on the board for JV Wisconsin, and I also draw a 10, just so you know, I have 8 10 showing. And we'll fold it up. All right, so of course, playing a horse tournament tonight. And we want to thank everybody for being with us here on the Mark Hoke Show. Certainly appreciate it. Don't know why I just did that, but that's okay. <laughs> 
And I know uh, Christina Kwan's flying around out there. Vinny's out there, too. I wonder what they're doing. They're probably sleeping. Wouldn't blame them. They've been running around like crazy. Uh, I am showing a six deuce. Idle G showing five four. And I'm on G four five eight. I'm showing ace deuce six. And still firing away. Let's see what happens here. Idle G does make the call. And Idle G is good as I was nine high. Idle G eight high. Double paired and still wins a Raz hand. That is not good. Oy, oy, oy. That that hurt me. Nice hand, Idle G. Yeah, not good at all. Oh my. <laughs> all right, and I have a three showing. Azrael's going to make the call. Idle G has to light, lead out. Of course, the player with the highest card has to lead out. Azrael showing queen five, Mama John with a king queen. I picked up a king and I'm still going to stay in the hand. Azrael picking up a 10 ball, I pick up an ace. Okay, I think I'm done bluffing now. <laughs> That's all right. Nice hand there by Azrael picking that one up. All right, now Quattro sitting down. Everybody with low cards this time around. First time uh, we've seen that here in this Raz game. And it'll be JB Wisconsin getting an eight and having to lead out, going to idle G. Azrael will make a call, and Mama John with an ace is going to raise it up. I will call that up. And both of the aces get a king to go with it. <laughs> That's kind of tough. Azrael with 5-6. And now Mama John, ace, du king, deuce. 6-5-7 for Azrael. I'm showing ace, king, 7. And Azrael will pick another one up. I love her as... All right, and uh, of course, guys, don't forget, uh, there's some great companies. We have some awesome discount codes for you right now. So here, if you need to write these down, uh, we have a, a lot of opportunities for you. Oh, and Lucky Man. Hey, Lucky Man, what's up? Good to see you. Yeah, hey, long time no here. Well, you got to listen to the show on KLAV, too. Don't forget that. But good to, good to see you, Lucky Man. And I'm showing ace nine. Mama John with a 10 five is going to fire, picking up the five ball and staying in there. Called by Quattro, and I'll stay in the hand as well. Now, ace nine seven for me. Mama John with 10 five eight. Quattro jack seven six. And actually, as long as Quattro thinking about this. And we'll bet out 80. I'll call. Going over to Mama John, who also makes the call. Mama John picks up a four. That's going to give him the lead in the hand as I picked up a jack. Hmm. Okay, I'll play. Why not? Looks like uh, it's going to be fold around. Mama John will take that one down. Not a shock. Yeah, but of course, hey, first, uh, once again, uh, uh, Blind Squirrel Apparel. Uh, promo code is Hoke. It gets you 20% off at blindsquirrelapparel.com. Uh, we also, of course, have Arctic Blue Cooling Towels. Put in the code Mark Hoke Show, and that's going to get you 15% off plus free shipping. Uh, we also have code Radio for 3Bet. You put in the code Radio, and you're going to pick up 15% off at 3Bet Clothing, uh, 3Bet.com. Uh, also, promo code HOKE for DraftKings. That's going to get you 100% deposit bonus plus a free entry into a millionaire uh, entry qualifier. 
So go ahead and do that. And that's going to take you like two minutes to do that. So pick that up. Going to be a good time on that one. And by the way, if you're in Las Vegas, don't forget the Poker Throwdown's coming up. Uh, Lane Flax po until Poker Throwdown. Uh, make sure you join us on November 30th for that event. If you're here in Las Vegas, it should be an awesome time. Red carpet, uh, all the, well, all the festivities are kicking off at 5 o'clock on November 30th. So please join us for a great time benefiting some of you know, some great animal rescue foundations here in Las Vegas. So join us on that one. And Project All-In coming up here on Saturday. So come on up here to Quan Air National and join us for that. All right, still playing Limit Raz. Unfortunately, I booed and I did not set this one up for five minute blinds like I normally do. I set them up for 10, so there will be some suffering for a little bit. Uh, right now, your chip leader uh, is Katie Stone at 3390, Idle G at 3190, sitting in second place. And uh, I, I do apologize because we do have to cut off at 9 o'clock tonight, so I did make that error, and that was my bad. But we'll keep an eye on things for you. But thanks for being with us here on the Mark Hoke Show. We appreciate it. Uh, let's take a quick break, and we will come right back as we'll continue on with this tournament. So you guys keep playing well, enjoy yourselves, and we'll be right back. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch on October 21st, 2013. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. Last summer, I was at the World Series of Poker every day and couldn't walk two steps without seeing someone wearing three-bet clothing. It's super comfortable and stylish, and all their stuff looks amazing. The incredible team of pros who wear three-bet hats, hoodies, tees, and more are a who's who in poker. All-time greats like Jonathan Little, Doc Sands, Brian Rask, Jason Kuhn, Scott Clements, Greg Mueller, Ben Tolerine, Jeff Gross, and, of course, Antonio Esfandiari, all proudly wearing the three-bet brand. They wear three-bet clothing because they know that being comfortable and feeling confident is crucial to winning on and off the tables. Threebet.com has shipped thousands of orders worldwide, and it's time for you to join the three-bet team just like the pros. Go to the number 3bet.com and receive an added bonus of 15% off with the promo code RADIO. Make that right call, look and feel like a pro at threebet.com. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Want to be a millionaire? Then see if you can become Fantasy Sports Royalty in the 2013 Fantasy Football Millionaire Grand Final at DraftKings.com. Play for free or in paid contests for real money, plus games last one day, so there's no long-term commitment. Thousands of winners have won over 10 million prizes on DraftKings.com, and now it's your turn to cash in. Go to DraftKings.com right now, enter the promo code HOKE, and get a 100% deposit bonus and a free entry into the Millionaire Grand Final Qualifier. So don't wait. Crown yourself the king of fantasy sports at DraftKings.com. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. 
Plus, enter the discount code Mark Hoke Show when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. When it comes to custom poker tables, why would you buy something someone else designed and even named for their sales or marketing purposes? The Nighthawk, the Gambler, the Big Slick, the Nuts. Sure, you can customize it if you want as long as you choose between black, red, or even green cloth, but that's about it. When you choose to play off tilt, it's not just another table, it's your table. The same price gets you a fully custom designed table that reflects your style and game. Off tilt makes it easy to design a truly one of a kind custom poker table that'll give you a home table advantage. Sure, Off Tilt could name their tables for marketing purposes, but why? It's not ours. We don't play on it. And to be honest, there are over a thousand named Off Tilt tables worldwide, including the WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.offtiltpokertables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why off tilt is the only way to play poker is more fun when you win most poker books are too theoretical they tell you to be more aggressive but give few practical examples poker plays you can use by doug hull edited by ed miller has 49 concepts with multiple clear examples from real live one two through five ten games each hand is visually represented explaining which players are vulnerable to these moves. Use discount code KLAV at 3BarrelBluff.com to get 25% off your copy. Paper and ebook available. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Yeah, they're moving stuff around behind me. I don't know if you saw that on the little camera view or not. They just don't stop around here. They don't. It's ridiculous. They're motorbiking, they're motorboating. It's unreal. Guan International, check them out. But thanks for joining us here. We do appreciate it. JB Wisconsin there. Oh, look at that. That That's so cute with those aces. I, I think I'll fold now. Goodbye. <laughs> Good try, JB. You could have just, uh, you know, checked it off. Something. You know, been nice, but no. All right, so now going to limit stud here. Uh, like I said, because of, unfortunately I apologize for not making it a turbo tournament. That was my mistake. And, uh, you know, of course we have to uh, – since we're at a commercial, we're a Christina's facility, and they just drove back from California. They want to go home at some point. So uh, we do stop, and we're going to stop at 9 o'clock tonight. But the tournament's going to keep going. I may end up doing the sit-out thing, so I do apologize to everybody on that. But uh, shaking the rust off, man. You know how it is. But, of course, don't forget the Off-Till Poker Tables tournament series is going to be coming up soon. So tell your friends and neighbors, you know, get ready to go on that. Um, I, right now, we, we're kind of leaning towards starting that after the World Series is over just because, you know, we'd start one event up and then all of a sudden, you know, we hit the November 9 shows and everything in the Hall of Fame and it's going to be crazy. So I don't want to start something and then stop it for a week or two. Uh, but don't forget, coming up uh, on the KLAV show, it's going to be Tom McAvoy. We're also going to be talking about the Win Classic. Plus, I'm sure we're going to you know, have a couple other special guests joining us, on uh, another guest joining us on that show. And two weeks from now on the... Mark Oak Show and KLAV. Mike the Mouth Manasau. That's right. Hall of Fame nominee is going to be able to add to his resume. Mike Manasau will be joining us two weeks from now on KLAV. So once again, if you're not following us on there, well, it's been a great show. I'll tell you what. They have been amazing over KLAV. We've had an awesome time and enjoying the relationship we've had with the, the great staff over there. So make sure you join us at klav1230am.com. If you're not in Las Vegas, if you're in Las Vegas, just tune in on your dial. We'd love to have you join us on the show. So should be a, a fantastic day. Next couple of shows on there. And I'm, I I would assume the week after that, we're probably going to have Nolan Dalla, and I'm, I am working to get anybody I get from the WSOP team if they haven't left town yet to join us. So, uh, And then hopefully having some of them up here too. So 
keep up with us. It's going to be a great time here on the Mark Hoke Show over the next couple of weeks as we'll be crowning a new world champion. All right, Limit Stud and Azrael, look at that. And Mama John as well. This is a pretty sick hand right here. I'm not sure what Quattro is doing over there. The deuce three king queen against aces and tens in a straight draw. And it finally gets out. And those aces and tens are not good. Azrael holding the queen and is going to take that one down. Nice hand for Azrael. All right, of course, so once again, my card's covered up, so you can't see what I have. I am showing a 9 at this point. Everybody's matching the bring-in that Azrael had with that 3-ball, so nobody too excited about their hand, but I think we're going to change that right now. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's been a... Yeah, what a great show. Of course, uh, Marco Valerio joining us and Kevin Mathers also on the show. You got two of the best information sources you're going to get in the game. So pretty exciting to have both of them on the same show tonight. Really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll have the that posted up on Rogue Wire pretty soon. Start replaying that for you as we roll on through the week. All right, JB Wisconsin showing nine four ten. I'm showing a pair of sixes, nine deuce. And now JB Wisconsin picking up another ten, showing a pair of tens. Probably hurt him. <laughs> but JB Wisconsin will take that one down. All right, boy, and it's oh, it's quiet in here. I, I don't have Christina over here. It's kind of it's kind of lonely all of a sudden. Yikes. All right, and Brian's going to Azrael with the four. See if Wisconsin's going to call that, and we'll go over to Idle G. I'll either fold it up, we'll take it over to Quattro. All right, if you're listening to Doug Hall, he said never limp. Don't limp. Azrael's out. Call from JB Wisconsin. Both of showing aces there. Quattro with a queen. And Quattro taking the time over there. And on the other table right now, uh, Katie Stone is out in front. Oh, look at this. JB Wisconsin goes ace king suited. Quattro gets a pair of queens. I go ace jack. This could be a big hand right here. And I'll check that off. The Quattro checking the Queens off. Can't imagine JB's going to let this go. The other table there, Radizi, Manasau 3, Lucky Man 489, Katie Stone's over there, and Curtain C. And now a pair of aces for me. How about that? Wisconsin's out. Quattro with a pair of queens. So two pocket pairs showing. Of course, just playing stud high. So a couple of big hands right here. And Quattro says, no thanks. I will show the table my aces and jacks on that too. <laughs> oh, the trap was set. Darn it. That's all right. Okay, and we're going to go to stud high low now. So, of course, uh, qualifying hand was, can uh, eight or lower. Take it over to Quattro there. Quattro showing the ace. I've got a five on the board, just so everybody knows. And uh, we'll get uh, Quattro leading the way with the ace nine. will be first to bet here. And I'm going to bet out Azrael calls with a jack ten suited. Going over to Mama John with a 9-3 and staying in. JB Wisconsin's king six. Not good enough. He's going to get out of the way. See if Quattro stays in on this. And does. 
And now I'm showing 5-4 deuce, Azrael, Jack-10, King, Mama John 3-9-6. And everybody folded. Oh, really? Wow. All right. I feel great. It's the best day of my life. Yeah. Man, we got to soup this up a little bit. I'm neglecting my sound effects. I'm very sorry. Here, we'll, we'll play this for you. Get everybody a little excited. A little intrigued. Rip off from the Beverly Hills Cop theme song. And now, Azrael is King 5. JB Wisconsin, King 6 5. Bet call. Now, Azrael showing Ace 10 to King 5 on this. Both players staying here. Pretty big pot. 968 in there. And they will chop that up. So Azrael with a deuce three, five, six, eight manages to pull off the low. And I'm going to get the bring in with the deuce. This is eerie. Christina, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's so quiet in here. I've never heard it quiet in here before. I'm scared. Christina Kwan's hanging out over here. She's th This woman, I swear to God, I don't know how she does it. She is everywhere. And she gets back. She's just working on indie cars down in California and then doing more marketing work. I've been in California earlier. I was in California earlier today. I'm back in Vegas now. I was in route here as you were already on the air, and I told everyone, literally, there is a radio show going on, and I'm going to meet him there before it's over. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you've had a busy week and day. and I have. I know you're always busy. I know. It never stops, does it? Yeah. <laughs> How long until I burn out? <laughs> what, what's the over-under out there? <laughs> well, you just got here. How many days have you officially been a Vegas, I don't know, what's the official word with your... Not a, a vegan. That's almost like a vegan. Yeah, you can't say <laughs> vegan. Yeah. Uh, that would uh, September third, I believe. I got oh, here. The, okay. I got here on Labor Day. Is your adrenaline still going like it was when you first got here? Where? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I'm being here for up. World Series is a little bit different because you you were gonna go home. Yeah. But now you're you're here. You don't have to go anywhere. It's fun. Yeah. I'm having a good time. We well, got big duties uh, this coming weekend, don't you? Project All In. I do. It's huge. It's Are you gonna talk huge. about some people? Talk about how they play? I might. Oh, well. I might. <laughs> Some people you, you might know pretty well, actually. Yeah, who's, who's coming? Who, who do I know that's coming up? I think, I think they're more your people, aren't yeah, they? The, yeah, the Nevada Poker League gang's going to be well, We're still figuring out how to handle them. Well, some, we gotta, yeah. we got to get them squared away. Are they, are they a rowdy bunch? Or are they, no, uh, no, they're very nice oh, people. Oh, okay, good. No, they won't, they won't ruin too many things. <laughs> well, your credit card is, is in for the deposit, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Are they going to eat us out of house and home? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> well, you know what's good is Project All In kind of mixes the, the casual poker player to the, the novice to the expert. And really, sometimes the, the novice kind of cracks the expert. It kind of gets them a little rattled, don't it you does. think? It does. It's fun, too. <laughs> oh, God. What am I, uh, Christine, what am I doing here? You see my hand. Yeah. I, I hit that. Those first four cards, that was fun. I'm not so big on the rest of them. <laughs> they, they, they didn't match. I'll just check off and see. Okay. And I'm good. Wow. Look at that. Sixes and deuces. Wow. That was pretty sick. Hey, Mark, are we going to find you at the Project all in table sometimes, maybe in rotation? I don't know. You tell me. Then I can talk about your play. You tell That'd me. That'd be awesome. Well, you'd just <laughs> be saying, my God, he's the greatest of all time. Oh. <laughs> What's he doing here? I'm, he's the best. Hopefully we don't we don't say that and be like, oh, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, where's your chips? Mark, where's your chips? <laughs> that way to play those aces, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you know what? We're gonna mix motorsports people. We got some crew chiefs coming in actually from NHRA. 
So once they're done working on those 8,000 horsepower engines, they can come relax, actually. It's a relaxation for them to play poker. I think that'd be fun. Is it a good time to have them tune up my van? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> is it for the quarter mile, or is it just to get from A to B? Oh, let's just... Is let's, it just navigating I-15 in Vegas? burn that up, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, again, we're looking forward to it. It should be a great time this weekend, so come on up here to Quan International. Join us at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Drop me a line. I'll even tell you where it is. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. There's like 26 buildings in here. There are. Marco got lost, by the way. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. It, Marco now, struggled. Is that Marco's fault or is it your fault for for being a, a bad leader? It's I like it's like your partner. Him. You you let the partner get lost in the woods. I sent him what you sent me. Okay, well, what I sent so, you was perfectly clear. Exactly. So So one out of I don't know how many people you you've brought here since the new broadcast out yeah. of here, but if he's the only one that got lost, then uh, we're going to have to blame Marco it is on that. Marco <laughs> fail. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, he was overconfident. He looked at the he looked at the map and he goes, "I got this." And once you get here, there's over two million square feet of buildings. And he thought, "Oh shoot, it's crazy. Where is <laughs> where is this place?" So so the NHRA gang's here this weekend, huh? Yeah. You know what's amazing? They tear down and rebuild that motor, forty five minutes between rounds every single time. That's the amazing part. Really? Yes. They check everything. That's sick. Yeah. They they tear down a whole motor. They tear it down. And put it together in forty five minutes. Yeah, you gotta make sure everything is right. Why aren't these guys working in the in the auto mechanic shops? Man, that would save everybody some serious money. <laughs> it's not thrilling enough. It's the fastest racing on land. I mean it, it's unbelievable. Now have you seen them? You're from you're from North Carolina. They have four wide there in Charlotte. The only raceway to have run four cars all at one time. So sixteen thousand horsepower. That's nuts. No, 32,000 horsepower. It's 8,000 times four. Yeah. You just nodded and agreed. You're tired. I, yeah, we're both. Uh, well, you, you didn't call me you, on it. How are you more perky than me tonight? This is unbelievable. I don't know. I, I think I think it's just exciting once we kind of get together and do our banter. I, I think <laughs> I think Marco and Kevin wore, wore me down today. Right. <laughs> well, you and I haven't seen each other in a week. We've talked, I but know. you haven't seen me. So we're, we're kind of catching up while I we're know. on air. I know. It's, it's like old friends. By the way, we're, we're all on camera, just so you know. Yeah, great. Did you see what I did I, tonight? I, I, I'm sorry if everybody, I, I obstruct your view here, but it is my show, so I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> um, I am okay. missing the end of this uh, Broncos uh, Colts game, though. <laughs> See, there, uh, we're right up there. I can, I can draw a little circle right around. Ah, nice. See, look at that. That's, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's us right up there. There we are. Boom. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty so cool. So, so that way nobody gets lonely. Hey, what, what's, what's the update on the NFL game, by the way? I am missing it. Uh, I want to say hi to all your listeners. They're great out there. So I don't know. I know the last I looked. What was the pick? You. What was you the must pick? have? Yeah, you must have had pick. Oh, that and how did you do this week? Um, I did okay college games. Oh, okay. I, I didn't. I, I I only looked at some of the pro games today. I'm, I'm gonna plead honestly, the fifth. I don't know if your listeners have heard. Um, you gave me picks one week, and I'm gonna plead the fifth probably in explaining what happened. You went. You got one out of three that I gave you, I believe. I expect three out of three though. If I'm gonna you ask you, what? Mark, I, I expect to win. I I work for the experts, <laughs> and if they have a bad day, I will just blame them. Okay. <laughs> but that's okay. DoubleDigitCovers.com doesn't miss 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 very much. I, I got to say this because, I mean, I do work for them, but they right. are going to be sponsoring right. the show. Oh, awesome. And um, Well, you I'll can't you get what, it right all the time. You, you I may give them. You know, that's the thing. You know, people don't understand about when you do sports betting and you work with a service like these guys. You know, they're not going to be perfect. No. You know, they're going to make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. No. Short of us. <laughs> but I, I'll t that's true. But I'll tell you what. The college games they hit this weekend, it was ridiculous. And I, it wasn't like the big ones either. I don't watch a lot of college, but I do hear that is – that is a lot easier. Everyone likes to pick that more. I watch I watch the NFL more. But college games can be tough. You get the crazy point spreads and right. stupid. And they'll run it up on. though. But yeah. Pete Carroll in Seattle, the the thing is they <laughs> he will run it up. Oh yeah. He he's already established that. So God bless him too. So if the spread's twenty, hey, it's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good. He's gonna run it up. I think I, I I don't know what they are against the spread though. I think they they missed like three games against the spread. Oh, wow, today? big hand there, and it's getting chopped. Oh, that's got to be sickening. I'm really sorry, guys. But, yeah, my guys hit uh, – let's see. What games did they hit? They were did crazy. you watch the Jets game? 
I did see the end of the Jets game. Oh, how was it? Um, the New England Patriots lost. Yeah. So that would mean it's good. Why is that good? Because. You don't like the Patriots? No. They took a Super Bowl from my guys. And who's your guys? The Eagles. Oh. Plus, it's Tom Brady. You don't yeah. like Tom? Yeah. I could take or leave him. Hey, if he can win like some of the games he has and he doesn't have the crew that he did have, I mean, don't you have to say that oh, there's it's something to be admired there? I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's, I'm a he's, he's okay. I'm a player he's follower. Okay. I don't know if I've explained that to you before. I don't. I love certain teams, yes, and, and I'm rooting for the Seahawks because I grew up with them. Mm. But if there's a player that switches teams and I love that player, I will follow that player to that team. So hence my new team to wow, follow. Wow, that's rare. Really? Oh, yeah. Most people stick with their team. If somebody leaves, you know, it's up Like screw up? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh I'm loyal to people. No. If I like them, I like them wherever they go. Yeah, I mean, that's, we, we usually get one of these. Like the big one, Junior. You didn't hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't grab the splitter. I didn't want to rip everything apart over there. I felt bad pulling the internet cord early. Oh, it's okay. Well, I know, but still. We did it like I did last time, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so how did it go down in California, by the way? It was great. It was the, the season-ending uh, Indy 500 race, so all the big drivers. Um, I was with one of my clients, and we had a bunch of flooring down at the Speedway. Badass Swiss Tracks flooring, so... We had a suite, uh, 10 suites in a row. So one suite just literally opened 10 suites down. Half the building was theirs. Wow. Um, but it was, you know what, though? You actually see the race better when you're actually not in the suite, though, because the suite almost obstructs your whole oval view. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So but other than that, it was great. I mean, California was beautiful. Nice. But I always love coming home. Every time I come home, as tired and as beat as I have been on the road, I just wake up. I mean, you just said that. You're like, how are you having more energy than me? And you've been up and, and you've been in Cali and, and you just came back and a bunch of meetings. And I just love Vegas. When you come, you just energize. It is. The it's just something about this city. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Darn it. <laughs> it lured you in. <laughs> yeah, you all got me. You did. You did. But, I, you know, I, I, but I, there's so much great stuff happening with the show and Project All In, too. But... And I, I have two huge announcements that are going to be coming here very shortly. Now, do I'm I so get to hear them before? I think I told you oh, one of them you? already. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. I did. You did. But shh. <laughs> it's going to be cool, though. I love the Nevada Poker League gang. They're so awesome. Oh, Quattro is going to be all in here. I'm going, I'm going for it, too. But JB Wisconsin trying to hang on over there. See if he can steal this one from me. Hmm. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the show. Which means I, I'm going to play this. Now I can't. <laughs> that, that's just a tip for you, JB. Oh, look at that card. Oh. Look at that card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that card. I hope you got spades over there, JB. Nope. I rivered with a queen jack for those of you that can't see that. <laughs> Let's see if Quattro had, had spades over there. Nope. Oh. Now what do I do? Oh, and I get my little bounty, too. <laughs> you know, we do these bounty tournaments, and when I actually do play them, I don't bounty many people off. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I don't. It's never, like, my objective to eliminate right. people. I just want to accumulate. Are you money. a special bounty, though? It no. It? Not, oh, no? No. No, I just kind of hopped in. Oh, there's no Arctic blue? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I think that's our first player out, too. See, this is what happens when I don't turbo these up. Oh. You turbo this up, this thing's over in like an mm. hour. When you don't turbo it up, not right. so much. Hey, I got some exciting news while I was in California. You met the Raisins? No, I've already met them before. You went to Disney World? No. <laughs> no, that's not my exciting Did you do the Baywatch run on the beach? No. No? No. I don't have... You were waiting for me to do something else. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to let you tell the story. <laughs> So people know that you're, there's a boxing ring behind us. There is. Marco was jumping on it, by the way. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> there, there was no sparring going on? No, or? no, oh, no. Okay, he just okay. he, he kind of went ultimate warrior on the side oh, there for okay, a second. Okay. No, Project All In this weekend, we are going to have another current female world champion boxer coming in. I was just with her today. Oh, yeah? 
phenomenal girl, Kalisha West. Yes, she's nice. a current champion. Wow. So we're not in the same weight class, so don't ask us. Are I you was going to say, fight I was going to say, are you setting her up? No. Are you going to steal chair? No, she is tremendous out of uh, Moreno Valley in California. But that's going to be exciting because I think she's dabbled in poker before. So we're going to put her on the Project All In stage and kind of see how she holds her own. But I think I might go up there with her. So we won't ever fight each other per se. But I think maybe we'll try a little battle at the poker table. See how we do. I think he's steel chair. Yeah. How, how much uh, How much higher weight class is she? Uh, she'll fight at 122. Okay. So, so I'm at 100. Quite a bit. Yeah, that that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. That's a little disadvantage. Make her come down. <laughs> Make her cut her left leg off. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Make her come down. Steel chair, challenger for the championship. <laughs> cut her leg off. It's perfect. No, we've got a synergistic relationship, I think. Okay. No, she's a great girl. You're going to meet her. Awesome. Well, that should be. She's got girl. quite a mouth on her, too. <laughs> it's oh. awesome. Oh. But she's awesome. She is awesome. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. You know, I feel bad because now I've got 3,200 in chips. And i got to hang it up. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll still, still be there when I get home. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, man. But I'll tell you, what a great show. Marco and uh, Marco and Kevmath. Marco in studio, jumping up and down, having a good time. Now, are you moving to a new time next week? Yeah, actually, we are. Okay. We'll, we'll get the details worked out, but we are probably going to move back to the three, okay. the six p.m. Pacific or Eastern, three p.m. Okay. Three p.m. is very early in Las Vegas. Have you learned that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird feel out here sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and Vinny, Vinny's got a finger up. Yes, next Sunday when you do your show. So Project All In is on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Sunday when you do your show in the 3 p.m. slot, that will be the finals of NHRA, actually. Wow. So we have some live results coming in. Awesome. How about that? That'll be cool. Yeah. Cool. Let's tackle some of these people. Get them in here. Oh. Yeah. Then we'll soup up your van at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you could be a sleeper car. I just need a little extra gas mileage right now. <laughs> You can win some money from light to light. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And look, everybody's already uh, everybody's already uh, like, yes, 3 p.m. There you go. Yeah, let's uh, field goal Colts, 39-30 Colts. I'm sorry, I had the chapters what? covered up. I apologize. Colts up 39-30. Oh. 39-30. All right. Well, kids, that's going to wrap it up for us. So you guys keep playing and, uh, you know, take my chips until I get home, and then I'm going to try and come back and win the tournament. Oh, my God, that slide drives me nuts. I hate that thing. But, hey, we will see you on Wednesday on KLAV. It's going to be Tom McAvoy, the new Hall of Famer. Yay! Famous. I was so happy to hear that. The new Hall of Famer. So Famous happy to hear famous. that. And I swear to God, I am going to hunt Scotty Wynn down. I'm working on it. I'm really trying. And we're also going to have uh, the poker room manager from the Win joining us in there as well to talk about the Win Classic. So that should be a good time. Uh, are, are you planning on? Uh, are you going to be able to join us on Wednesday? It is a super busy week with Project All In. Okay. That would be a. So that would be a no. Probably no. Okay. <laughs> but you're going to see me so much on Saturday. Well, I know. And your audience is going to see us on Saturday. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. So we'll we'll have to find a fill-in for Christina. Oh, sorry. <sighs> That's all right. <laughs> All right, so guys, we'll see you on Wednesday. Make sure you join us on KLAV, and we'll have the replays of all the shows. So if you missed tonight's show, I promise I'll have that posted up here for you. We'll run some replays here on Rogue Wire uh, next couple of days. But, Christina, thank you. Yeah, and I'll and see them on Project All In. It's going to be fun. So, yes, thank you. I am Greek. Opa to you again, my friend. So we will see you guys on Wednesday on KLAV, 1230am.com, and we'll have replays on Rogue Wire, all sorts of stuff going on, Project All In on Saturday night, we'll be back here on Sunday. Are, are your well, eyes going to be open? I might as well just camp out. Yeah. Done. Boom. There's a hose outside. I can shower. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> you guys are going to hose me down outside? <laughs> would, your, would your viewers like to see that or that's a, a thumbs down? Uh, I know a few viewers that wouldn't mind. I mean, they want to see you get punched, but do they want to see you hose down? Uh, some. Some. <laughs> Those are my listeners. All right, kids. We'll see you. We'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Good night. Have a good one. The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Hoke Show.